Thank you so much for watching Rift TV. Now this interview is obviously with video, but I don't interview everybody on Zoom. That's why I put it on my Talkin' Rock with Meltdown podcast. We talk to rock artists from all over the genre. So check out Talkin' Rock with Meltdown wherever you get your podcasts. And now to today's video interview. All right, there he is from the from the confines. You're in Massachusetts? Connecticut. Oh, Connecticut. Okay, there you go. I moved I moved to Connecticut in uh, 02. Yeah. We were just talking uh, before we started that uh, I've been here since 1995. I actually have a picture, and I, I it's this old picture. I think it might have been the first time that Stained ever came to the studio, and I was going to bring it with me since we're on Zoom, but you weren't there. <laughs> oh, I wasn't? No, it was, oh, it, wow, was the, it was the record guy. It was Aaron, uh, the original drummer, and... Uh, you know, I, I was going to bring go, Hey, look at this. Uh, what, wah, wah, wah. You're not even in the picture, so. but it's they been a long the cool time. guys. They left the cool guys at home. <laughs> That's right. So uh, somewhere along the line, they signed it. And, and of course you guys are coming through town here with God smack this year. And I was thinking about this. I mean, you guys kind of came, came up through the ranks together, didn't you? Yeah. I mean, listen, it was, uh, they were blowing up on uh station out of Boston, WAF. Uh, and it was, I remember I keep saying this it was, we did uh, the warp tour in 98 with them on the local stage in Northampton mass. And it was right before we left to go record dysfunction. I think it was the last gig we played before we left to go record the record. And, uh, you know, we'd played a couple of gigs with them, you know, after that. And then we ended up going on tour with them. Uh, right after, right before Break the Cycle came out, and we did the, um, we played the Millennium, like Welcome into the, you know, two thousand with them, like a New Year's gig. And, oh, was that Boston? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, yeah, I love those guys, and really looking forward to to you know being out on the road with them. I mean, they're just, uh, yeah, they've done such a great job, and you know, stoked to be playing with them. Yeah, the Millennium Show here in Detroit was uh, Metallica, Ted Nugent, uh, Seven Dust, and Kid Rock. And I think you told me once before that you played, you guys played with Kid Rock on that Warp Tour you're talking about, isn't it? Isn't that right? We did our Stain's first tour ever, like national tour, was opening for Kid Rock. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, and the first show was at the is it the State Theater in Detroit? Yeah. Yeah, the Fillmore now. Yeah. That's that was our first show ever. Our first national tour was there opening for Kid Rock. No kidding. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I think all these years later, now you got a new record coming out and all this stuff. I think we're getting old. Hey, just the fact that we got this connection together is like, you know, that we got it hooked up. It's, it's a minor I, miracle. Wait a second. You think we're getting old. What do you mean <laughs> you think? <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. I think when I met you guys for the first time, no kids, no house, no wife. And here we are. So here and here we are. <laughs> a lot more aches and pains, too, I got to tell you. Yeah, I was on the ice this morning. I feel pretty good. I have to. Oh, nice. Good for you. Yeah, I get on the ice in, in a couple of times a week, I, three times a week. Now I play with my son who's 20 years old. And yeah, like I said, I didn't have any kids when I first met you guys. But uh, hey, so that's uh, August 9th right here at Pine Knob. But the new record, let's talk about that, Confessions of the Fallen. First of all, tell me about that uh, title. Is there a song or something that goes along with that? Or I... I don't even, uh, it's just so funny. People are asking me, they're like, what name some others? I still know the working title. So like when you, when I, when I come up with a riff, I give it like some random, right. you know what I mean? Some, just so I can kind of identify what it is. Yeah. And it wasn't only till recently that the songs got names, like lowest in me was called low harm. So I don't even, you know what I mean? I, so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so so is, is that like, is that like Aaron's job? It is for sure. Yeah. Listen, he writes, he, he does such a great job with the lyrics and, you know, coming up with that and what he sings about is so personal to him that it's like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, and there was a few, there was a few album titles kicking around and they'll say, Oh, what do you, you know what I mean? Well, what, what do you like? What's, you know what I mean? So we'll, there'll be a little bit of that, but you know, a few options to choose from, but yeah, it definitely is. I mean, he, he's so good at that. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 He's, do you guys sit in the same room and write together or do you bring riffs to him and he puts the words to it or how does it work? Yeah. A lot of bringing riffs and he puts words to it. I mean, so uh, a lot of this record was, um, was put together on the corn tour that we did in 2021. Mm. Um, I had a bunch of songs, but it was really on that tour that I was able to put, um, 
demoed a lot of those songs and put them together and able was able to get in a room with Aaron and play him some of them and you know kind of talk through what he thought what was cool what he didn't like what should change directions you know what I mean so it was really with a lot of that guidance that I was able to kind of go back and kind of put together what you know musically what the record was going to be now this uh, riff, if I'm not mistaken, from the uh, the latest song, um, the, the lowest of me. That song was created in I, I think I read somewhere in 2019. Is that right? Uh, I want to say I think I wrote that on the corn tour actually. In oh, that one too. Okay, I I believe so. Yeah. I, so listen, what I would do, you know, listen. You say you have kids. So I do too. You know, when I'm home, there's all these things that you you know you're you're constantly you know always doing. So when I'm on the road, it's for me, it's a great time. I I get up in the morning, set up my little Pro Tools thing, and just play all day you know what i mean yeah and, yeah. and a, a lot of the you know i think that that was one of the songs that kind of came out and riffs that came out you know during that tour it, you know when, when you're when you're i'm not a musician I, I don't know when you're playing these riffs like this what what determines like what you keep like is it something that maybe strikes you in a weird way or yeah yeah sometimes you know what i mean it'll just be something that kind of catches you and, and like <clears throat> And what I'll do is like, if I, if I'm kind of playing around with something that I, I like, you know, I'll just, I used to do it on a cassette player, you know, I used to carry around. Now I have pro, just a little pro tools thing on my laptop, you know, and uh, yeah, I'll just have like an ideas folder and just put these things down and, you know, kind of go back and listen to them. And, and I mean, sometimes it's even like, I'll just play, like, if I think I'm onto something, I'll just kind of record it and like, you go back and listen to it. You might even hear just like one, like 10 second section that, you, Oh, that part's, you know, and if it's just something that kind of catches your ear and you think is catchy, you know what I mean? That's, that's kind of what I ever, that's what I go by. Yeah. I've talked about this before. James Hetfield called that uh, in an interview Ooh. with him. Yeah, I know. He's, he's, <laughs> Watch your toes incoming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One time, one, maybe you'll hear about him someday, but uh, yeah, maybe only the, the, the <laughs> biggest guy in metal ever, but yeah, for sure. Oh, oh he, he, he called it a riff junkyard. That's what he called yeah. it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you just kind of, you know, and, and listen, to, uh, even sometimes from inspiration, you can go back there and listen to it. And sometimes, it, you know, it, it triggers something else. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So so tell me about uh, the, the flavor of the rest of the record. I'm sure you've heard it, right? <laughs> no, they're keeping it a secret from me. <laughs> now, now, you, um, now you got me wondering how much you even know about this record to be honest with you but <laughs> we have a record coming out <laughs> that's right yeah by the way i don't even know when it's coming out and you can tell us that either um yeah listen um i'm i'm really happy with the way that it turned out i i think that you know with with us there's some records that are you know super diverse i think i mean the last stain record i felt was much more on the heavier side and kind of going back to the like you know dysfunction i think this is kind of probably the next step of that i mean there's still um there's still some diversity to it and i, I think part of that diversity too is that you know we one thing that aaron wanted to do is kind of you know experiment a little bit more with um you know some of the electronic elements that's in it's in music and you know we did that you know i mean uh i don't think it's super apparent on the first single but there are a couple of songs where it is it's much more apparent that you know i mean that's a kind of a part of it and uh i think at first i was a little hesitant not really sure you know where that would go how that would work didn't really know how to write a record like that um but as things progressed and we started you know getting into it i i was real happy with it i think it's uh you know i think it's kind of you know stay in 2023 modernized a little bit of what of what we do so um yeah i'm just i'm just excited for people to be able to hear the rest of it i think i'm, I'm real happy with all the songs on it yeah the new uh, avenge sevenfold record there's some even some hints of like daft punk and some of this stuff and it's really bizarre but uh zachy vengeance was telling me he goes he goes yeah it's but it's still avenge sevenfold so i guess that's kind of the way you guys look at it as well yeah i'm not sure we got that far but yes right. yeah but yes, yeah, absolutely. I mean, listen, you know, the, the new song sounds like Stained, right? Right. You know, so yeah. Yeah, and so uh, six, seven ballads on the record, probably? <laughs> uh, Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> the rest no, of it. No, it was funny. I remember we were we were doing, we were trying to write the record after uh, Break the Cycle, which had, it's been a while on it. 
And I remember that the, the label just kept going, oh, it's not done. You need to write more songs. You need to write more songs. And I said, why don't we just record It's Been a While 12 times and send it to them? <laughs> <laughs> Is this what you want? <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, no, but yeah, listen, there, there's there's a one kind of like that. And then there's this one that's, you know, I just think a real kind of like moody. And I, and I love it. You know, I mean, I think I'm real happy. It was, it's a riff that I actually had laying around for a while. And uh, I'm real happy with the way that one came out. I mean, it was, I was glad that Aaron wanted to sing on it. Cause sometimes that happens. There's some, I've had things that I, I love that. I've, and he's like, eh, I'm not feeling it. I'm like, what do you mean? You're not feeling, you'll hear that. That's good. <laughs> he's like, yeah, no, it's not. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, and and yeah, then then you go your separate ways, right? In your separate, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I used to get real upset over that. I I tried to stop, you know, uh, getting upset over it. Yeah, I'm I'm like a one man gang here. You guys, you know, you guys have to rely on each other, and I I think about that sometimes. It's like just like what you just said. You wrote this. You're like, man, this is the best thing I've ever done, and you're like, yeah, I don't feel it. You're like, oh. yeah, no, it's not very good. What do you mean? <laughs> it is. It's, it's so subjective, though. Yes, I know. It is. Yeah, no, you're right. It's, it, yeah, and it can be tough. You know what I mean? If there's something that, you know, yeah. But uh, I, I I think we've gotten, yeah, hopefully beyond that, you know. And the first video came out, of course, uh, like a little bit of an asylum type feel to it. Uh, who, whose idea was that? Director. Okay. You know, I mean, yeah, I think it was something that they came to with a, you know, and, you know, it's the same thing. It's like we have, uh, you know, they do the, the grat tracks now, you know, you put it, you know, put out stuff out and they do the lyric video type of thing that always comes with it. So I actually was just reading some treatments. So yeah, they, they kind of come up with, you know, um, and send us ideas and you read it and you, you know, make comments and suggestions if there's something that you like, you know what I mean? So yeah, that was what that is. Yeah. And it's kind of weird. We live in this world now where like, you've got to put videos out <laughs> when you guys started, you didn't have to. Yeah, no, we always did videos did you? Okay. actually back then. I mean, I'm not that old. I mean, <laughs> I know I'm old. No, but I mean, even back then, I mean, MTV used to, I remember seeing like Just Go was our first video. I remember seeing that on MTV. And like three in the morning? Yeah, it was a Matt Pinfield thing, you know, that 120 right. minutes, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 might have been two. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt. So the record uh, just comes out in the fall. That's all you could say. In the September sometime. I, I think, I don't know the, ex I mean, I want to say it's the, 13th or something but i'm not positive on that but yeah. it's right around that time and it's kind of weird because you're going out on this, this summer tour without the new music out you'll probably well you'll drop another song or two probably there's one coming out i think right before the tour goes out like the week before or something okay yeah hey yeah. let me let me ask you about your time away from uh stained uh, uh what did you think of uh, aaron's solo stuff and the direction he went in i mean listen that was something that he's he's wanted to pursue and i uh, Honestly, I, th I think whatever Aaron does is really good. Yeah, you know, I think it was really I, good too. Yeah, I yeah. loved. It. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's he's great. I mean, I, that voice is. I mean, you know, one of my favorites. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Is there gonna be a time on this tour where you guys maybe take a break and he does one of his solo songs, or no? Or is this all stained? No, it's gonna be all stained. I think. Yeah. 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 And then you, you went off and did, of course, you know, Santa Sonia, you worked with uh, Jason Newstead and stuff. Um, was there always that thing in the back of your mind uh, that this would be great for Stained or, you know, whatever, or do you just kind of close that out? Yeah, no, I just kind of went with what, whatever it is at the time, you know what I mean? And I uh, listen, I, I had always hoped we, you know, get back. And I thought, I, I thought that day would come and we always talked that it was going to come. I mean, there was just really no plan, you yeah. know? Um, and, and Aaron was, you know, did great with this and still, I mean, still doing great with this country stuff. You know what I mean? And I'm just thankful that there's, there's room in there for us to be able to do this, you know? Yeah. I was thinking about this before. It's like, like you just said, it's like, you know, there's always that part where you're like, man, I, I, I want us to get back together, but I don't know what's going to happen. And I've never really been put in that situation because I've had like, you know, the, the same job for the last 27 years, you know, I say you've been there forever. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> totally. But, but you know, what I'm saying? Just, and, and for you, I mean, listen, I mean, I think, it's unusual for bands to be together that long and playing. It's it's really it might even be more unusual for one one guy on the radio to be at the same place that long. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes I think right? maybe, 
Maybe I should go somewhere else, <laughs> but I no, love. No, you're story. doing great, man. Yeah. No, no, it's great. I'm just being uh, facetious, but but I yeah, it's, it's like with with the musicians and stuff. I, I often wonder when when things uh, implode or explode or whatever the case happens. It's like you know, what are your thoughts? It's like, oh no, now what am I going to do? Or or did you always kind of have a plan, or you always have connections, or how does that no, work? Oh no, there was uh, no. It was yeah. It was really like uh, you know, he Aaron put out that record. And he's like, oh, I'm going to you know pursue my country career and. You know, I can't do stain if I'm doing country because they're not going to think I'm country if I'm still doing stain. Then I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah, then it's kind of just trying to figure it out. You know what I mean? I I was fortunate that you know, I, uh, you know, Jason came along and I went out and you know, you know, tried out for him and it went well. We hit it off, and I'd always be super thankful to Jason for you know we we did about a year or so, and. Uh, it was great. I love Jason. I mean, like I said, I was, uh, it was, it was very cool. And I feel, you know, very honored to be able to, you know, have been a part of that. And he's actually out doing it again, which is great. We talked, you know, recently and they're, you know, they're out there with, um, you know, just did a show recently in Florida. Um, and, and, and then I was kind of working on, you know, writing songs to work with, you know, different singers, you know, kind of do that. I thought the thing that's you know, slashed in, like, I love that idea because it's like, there's, you know, I talk about, Aaron and Adam being, you know, two of my favorite vocalists, but there's other guys out there that I've, you know, worked with before, you know, Sully, actually the song that I wrote with Sully ended up being uh, a single on the second Santa Sonia record, the hunted, mm -hmm. you know, Adam heard, and he's like, Oh, I love that song. Can we do it? And I was like, I asked Sully and he's like, yeah, sure. So, um, but it, getting together and I was going to get together and write with a bunch of different singers and kind of, you know, do that thing. Cause I had all these songs laying around and uh, that ended up being Santa Sonia. Cause I got together with Adam and we really hit it off and we'd written a couple of songs and he had a deal with Capitol at the time and they heard it and they're like, Oh, you know, this should be a band. Mm -hmm. So that's how Santa Sonia really came around, you know? And uh, I was super thankful for that, you know, and being able to work with, with that. I love Adam. Those guys are, the band's great. I you think know. I was at your uh, first show for Santa Sonia, Rock on the Range. Was you yeah. correct? Yeah. yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So, me so, too. so you had these songs all ready to go, and and then you know, um, you and Adam kind of hit it off, and you decided to take it. And, yeah. Man, okay. Yeah, yeah, and Adam had some some great songs of his own that ended up being that you know I love that first Santa Sonia record that ended up being that first Santa Sonia record, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, he's such a nice guy. All those guys from Canada are so nice, but now they're giving us all their smoke. <laughs> These damn Canadians, man, <laughs> wrecking my air. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with that band right now? Just kind of just on hiatus or just... No, no, no. Those guys are playing. I'm just un unable to do it. I mean, okay. they're, you know what I mean? There's a, there's a song that's out now, uh, Devastate, that's, you know, getting some play. And, uh, you know, we did a video for that. Speaking of videos, and uh, they just did a tour with a uh, uh, skill in theory of a dead man. Oh yeah, that's right, right, right. Yeah, and that's actually going back out in the fall. Um, but I have some stain stuff, so um, uh, Travis uh, is out playing them. Who used to be in a, a band with Kale? Um, oh my God, I just drew a blank with Chris it, Kale. No, 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 I. Uh, Kale, the bass player, Adam's cousin. Oh, God. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. And, uh, oh, my God. Dan from Disturbed signed them, produced them. Why can't I think of the name? Anyways, I'm brain dead. But anyways, um, I'm very thankful for him. He's doing a great job out there. And those guys are out uh, out doing that. Yeah. I uh, I just hung out with Dan from Disturbed in Nashville for uh, two days. Yeah. Which was like a week, actually. <laughs> I'm stoked. We're playing a show with those guys in September. So it'll be, it'll be great to see them. Yeah. They're going to be playing here. By the way, uh, uh, Toby Wright is one of my friends. Have you ever worked with Toby before? No, I haven't, but I mean, I, it, there, I mean, the names come up to, you know what I mean? To, to work together. Cause he's obviously done some, some great work. Yeah. Cause uh, he mixed that. Uh, <laughs> he mixed the injustice record. He was just telling me about it just recently. So really, <laughs> I'll tell you about that sometime, but, uh, you know, um, <laughs> Yeah, that you know, they, everyone knows the story about that thing. Oh, of course, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, totally. So, what else you got going on this year? Going to drop the record, uh, hop on some more tours and stuff. Yeah, that's it. We got the Godsmack tour. We got some some dates after that, and I think there's a couple of dates this fall. And uh, just trying to figure out. I mean, we'll be you know playing next year as well. You know, um, yeah, just out there on the road promoting and uh, yeah, 
playing some shows. And it's so good to be back out on the road and see all these concerts and the whole thing, because you just mentioned that Corn 2021 tour, and that must have been the most bizarre tour you've been on. It was. It was tough. I and mean, we were getting tested before every show. Ugh. I remember uh, <laughs> I remember talking there. Corn's tour manager was tour managed us for a while and, you know, friends with him. And I remember talking to him one morning. It's like, OK, if if Jonathan and Aaron can stay healthy, we're all good. And uh, we were in uh, Pennsylvania. Scranton, I think it was. And uh that day Jonathan tested positive and the tour shut down like literally that afternoon. He's like, All right, I'm not talking about with you ever again. <laughs> and we took like, but we listen, we took like 10 days off and we were able to get back out there and finish it. You know what I mean? So it was, it was, you know, it, it worked out. I mean, but yeah. Was it one of those deals where like where did you see a lot of fans all masking up and stuff? No, nobody really. Did. I mean, there was a few people that did, but no, people were just kind of at the show and you know, enjoying themselves. Yeah. Um, did you, during that time, did you have a chance to reflect on like your career and what you had done? I mean, at that time I was really just kind of focused on the family, you know what I, I mean? Know. And being here with them and kind of enjoying them because there was nothing else going on, yeah. you know? So I kind of look, I mean, we, we really enjoyed ourselves. I mean, it was, I mean, yeah, it was actually nice to be, not have you know the phone ringing the kids didn't have their other activities that they're at all the time there was no place to go and i i I mean i kind of fondly look back on that time and for for what it was and being able to just all be together no i'll tell you what we're looking forward to the new record uh in september you're saying confessions of the fallen uh which is uh, a song that you that you wrote somewhere along the line (laughs) eric put words or aaron put words to and uh yeah, and the whole thing. There you have it. And it's great. <laughs> it's awesome. <Yeah. laughs> it's the best. Yeah. Well, Mike, so great to uh, talk to you. We'll see you here with uh, the guys from uh, uh, Godsmack. I texted Robbie to to give me a question for you. And Robbie sometimes isn't great with the uh, texting, but uh, what, what's something about Robbie? I can I can bust his chops. Oh, my me. God. I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, he's another hockey guy, right? You, yeah. guys, you guys must have played, you skated together. Did yeah, several times. Yeah, here I'm the- sure because I know whenever we go into to like, oh, where can we go skate? And, and he's a, I know he's a big BM, uh, uh, dirt bike guy too, right? Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I yeah. think though, like all of us, he's getting a little older. The aches and pains. I don't think he's doing as much as he used to. So, dude, I'm telling you, man. I I said that earlier. I mean, I've been I, working out a bunch. I have all these things going on that I just am like, why is my knee killing me? I don't <laughs> understand. Listen, ibuprofen in the morning, aspirin at night. You're good to go. Jeez, yeah, it's not good for the liver, though. Yeah, <laughs> well, I've so I, a- unless I wash it down with a few beers, then I, then it's okay. It's okay for the liver, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah hey, Mike, thanks so much for the time. We'll see you out on tour, and good luck with the record and everything. Yeah, thank you, sir. I appreciate it as always.